So this is a demonstration of the Ocean Motions uh, device for a reef tank. And I have it about half full right now or whatnot to, so we can see what everything is doing. Um, on the bottom front and right corners I have the nozzles pointed up to the surface so we can kind of see what they're doing. But they'll be pointed more across the aquarium eventually, and they'll be covered with rocks so you won't see them. The back two corners, there's four bulkheads, two intakes and four outputs, um, are hidden by rock and they're coming up higher up in the aquarium. So, the barrel design that I have is opposite ends on it opposite times. So the motor turns at 1 RPM. So what this does is every 30 seconds the opposing corners are on full blast. And it's constantly rotating, it's constantly changing what percentage is going to each outlet. So what am I trying to say here? Um, so it's gradual. One will be at 1% and then a, you know, a split second later it's at 5%. And they're only peaked out for that split second as the barrel's rotating. But you can kind of observe what the water current's during or doing or just watch uh, one outlet even to see. Let's do that. Let's focus on this one outlet. So it's, since it's 1 RPM, actually, each corner should be peaked at every 15 seconds so we're watching this one right back corner right here we should get my water is filling quite a bit isn't it I don't know if this does anything here Anyway, I've tried this uh, several different ways so far. Put all kinds of floaty stuff in the tank and watched it move around. And it's uh, amazing with this simple setup of just having the four corners. Uh, what kind of random currents happen in there. I've seen pieces of stuff, like maybe you can focus on stuff that's floating around in there right now. Seeing pieces of stuff float across the tank like it's on a mission, man, just flying, and then catch a counter current and flow back the other direction, doing a complete 180 instantly. And then you'll see areas that you're like, oh, wait a minute, you know, that's, that's a little calm in there. I'm not sure I like that. And you know, you give it a minute or so, or maybe even two, and all of a sudden a current just wants to go in that area. And so I'm. I'm I have a lot of faith in this product and the concept of it. This is the first time I've tried it. Um, I'm glad it's working out as I thought it would. I guess the only true test though is uh, once I get this thing full of coral and uh, then we'll really see what it's doing, right? But, um, you know, I've just by using my hand. I have a couple of MP40s on another tank, the Vortec MP40s on a four foot tank. And uh, I'm gonna compare uh, these to a MP40, each, each nozzle. Um, so, I mean, you, you hold your hand across the tank, you're still feeling the same type of current you'd feel at one foot or two foot. Uh, so if anybody, you can, I'm running a, uh, reef Flow uh, Barracuda for my return and running it wide open too. I mean I've got dual inch and a half bulkheads that drop right into a two inch line that go out to the garage. You can see there with the blue valve that's the um, closed loop supply line. So the dual two inch bulkheads come out T down into that valve. There we can see it. And goes out to the garage and uh, then 
all the flow is coming back through these flex pipes. And man, I, I, I mean, I just went crazy trying to figure out, well, how am I gonna put this all up there? How am I gonna avoid all my 90s and sharp cur curves and everything? And I thought, well, you know what? I don't really like the flex pipe, but I'm gonna use it. Then I thought, well, how am I gonna fasten this and hold it steady and keep it plumb so it's not tugging in any one direction on a bulkhead? I mean, the epiphany after weeks, really, really was to let these things rest on the floor since I have the luxury of all my equipments going in the garage. So everything just kind of hangs plumb and uh, doesn't torque any of the bulkheads. Here, I'll just go to the garage real quick. <coughs> just so we can finish seeing the ocean motions, I guess. All right, work in progress. I just got done draining the tank and refilling it, fresh water only at this point. So there's the supply line, the big two inch comes down, goes into the Barracuda. And then, uh, I believe it's a Barracuda. And there, there's the manifold on the wall. So the bottom four are for the closed loop. There's the Ocean Motions device. And uh, then the top five tubes, the, well the next two up from the Ocean Motion is the two uh, right in the middle there are for my return lines. And then the three top are my overflow lines, which will, come out and take up this whole garage wall eventually so primary sump I'm not 100% on this but anyway here's the area I have to work with um, I'm gonna throw these LEDs on there uh, 223 watt Crees nine drivers hooked up to my apex so I'm pretty uh, happy about that might end up using probably will end up using this water barrel at the end for the final return chamber, you know, a bunch of live rock, maybe throw some chato on top and a light and call it good. And then the wall will be, you know, all the equipment and uh, chiller and all that. So fortunately, I've already got a lot of money invested in another reef tank so I can transfer all the good stuff over to here. Anyway, uh, hey, if anybody's uh, considering the Ocean Emotions device, uh, there's an example of what it's doing for me. Um, have not got any corals in it yet, but I'm very optimistic, and that's all I can say about that, man. Hey, thanks for listening.